here guys how are you have you been i hope you're keeping well during this period sam here i'm back with jojango tutorial series 2 i know it's been a while it's been more than a year since i published the tutorial series 1 so i'm so excited being back and i hope in the next uh few months we're gonna do some awesome stuff this year we're gonna plan for bigger things um uh, I don't know what to say in terms of uh, where you're coming from or where you're going to, but uh, in the tutorial series one, I've really got uh, it's been so amazing. Uh, it's a journey that I've at least I've walked through, and I can't regret any day of it. I know you guys have asked so many questions about uh, how can you do this, how can you do that, and I hope I've been able uh, to help you or to assist you in your project as much as I could because uh, there are so many emails coming in, so many messages, so many uh, comments on the tutorial and I hope this tutorial will actually solve most of the issues that were there in tutorial series 1. Um, having issues whereby I need to share with you guys what to expect in this tutorial and I know you're gonna like it. It's gonna build on the previous tutorial series 1 and I know the gaps that existed in the series one will be sorted out so um what to expect here not much but at least some awesome stuff so we're gonna review the whole of that tutorial series explaining bit by bit why we did what when and why uh, then we're gonna get to the six main topics for this series which is this guy setting up the geo jungle project guys using windows have had issues so we're gonna try to sort out that uh, because i don't want anyone left out if you're building on uh, if you're building Django or Django in either Windows or Linux, you should be able to maneuver through your project easily. Uh, we're gonna write some Django APIs. Probably you have an application that you want to serve uh, some data on the front end. Uh, then we're gonna see how that comes along. Then I'm gonna show you how to visualize data on PostgreSQL. So this is using the GUI uh, PG Admin. So in this case we're gonna uh, we'll be using pgadmin4. So I show you the I show you around the awesome stuff, what it does and what to do with the various components. And then number five has been uh, most guys have been asking about this question. So I have this form. I want to integrate a map. I want to save them, uh, this data to the database from uh, the front end. How can we do that? So we're gonna export the special fields on our form. And then you see how to save the data. Um, you have special data in, uh, in Django admin. So from the questions, so these topics have been developed from the various questions that have been seen from the guide. Uh, so we have special data, how to do special data in Django admin. So I'm also going to show you that. And then the last bit will be uh, integration of TAF.js into Leaflet.js. So I'm going to show you how you can integrate the two to do some awesome stuff. So there have been those who have been asking, uh, I have these kind of points, so I want to do ABCD, some job processing stuff and all that. So we're going to explore that and see how it comes along. Um, on guys who maybe are wondering what we are doing in series two, so we published the Django tutorial series one some time ago and uh, it can be found on my channel so my channel here uh, so basically i go by the name uh, joe hikibu this is my channel and uh, this is the playlist of the tutorials uh, that exist in this series so we had 12 videos all these they uh, progress as they build upon the solution as you go by so if for preparation purposes we cannot proceed or uh, you can uh, actually go with tutorial series 2 before you can actually check what is here in series 1. So I would urge you to kindly check out uh, what's here so that at least you'll be familiar or you'll be uh, conversant with what we'll be doing in series 2. Um, again, for those who are not uh, video fans, so on my website which is lifeinjust.com, we have uh, a PDF format of the same tutorial. So under download section, you uh, just enter your email address here and uh, the link will be sent to you whereby you, or maybe the, you'll be able to download the PDF and then use it for your work. So either your video or PDF, you're free to use whatever you can and you're also free to give comments and all that. 
so uh if you had any issues with series one i would be so glad to check them out on uh maybe the comment sections below so can you provide comments if you had a question or something you don't uh, you would want us to do in this tutorial series too and actually i'll be so happy to give a feedback and actually consider that those that will be relevant for this series so cheers guys if you've not subscribed to this channel kindly do and then follow up on uh, what we'll be doing and i know you you'll be awesome at the end